You're watching Friday Night Football Fever, presented by TCU. Welcome back to Fever. Carl Deffenbaugh, he's Adam Derengowski. And the first week of se sectional play rolls on to Class 3A and the Marion Knights, who started the year 6-0 before dropping three in a row to end the regular season. Yeah, but those were all against bigger schools. Yeah. Now they're back to facing equal competition. We'll see how that goes. John Glenn, the opponent tonight. Marion actually shut out the Falcons 34-zip way back in Week 2. The Knights on the move on their opening drive. They hand it off to Jake Whitfield. Good to have him back in the backfield. Gets it to the one, but lost the football. And the Falcons recover a missed opportunity. Marion would force a three and out, though, in the ensuing drive. Bryce Tomasi finds Whitfield on third and long. Made a guy miss a 24-yard score. Seven zip, a little bit of redemption. In the second quarter, Whitfield on the ground this time. Just cruises in from eight yards out. On the way to a blowout, 48 nothing. The Knights will face Wheeler next week. The Jimtown Jimmies looking to defend their sectional crown for the third straight year, hosting Tippy Valley. Vikings driving. The snap is botched, and Jimtown's Jared Haynes pounces on the football. Jimmies are pumped. That sets up this play. Sam Pollock drops back. He scrambles, and he's going to dump it off to the running back, Kenny Kern, who makes several people miss and shimmies his way close to the red zone. And he's going to finish the drive right here. Gets the handoff and breaks it into the end zone for the score. Kern had a big game. He leads the way to a 53 to nothing victory. The Jimmies get Garrett out of Fort Wayne next week. Impressive. Elsewhere, Culver Military downs Fairfield 24-21 on a late field goal. Head coach Andy Durrell's 100th win. The Eagles get Lakeland in the second round. Over in Class 2A, Bremen throttles Rochester 41-7. It's the first time the Zebras have fallen in the opening round of the sectional since 2010. And Winnemac blanks Manchester by a full score of 34 to nothing. Also in 2A, Knox moves on with a 30-20 to 20 win over, over River Forest tonight. Very nice. And that leaves just one class, single A. LaVille having a nice year. The Lancers posted back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time since the early 2000s. Tonight, they open play by hosting Fremont. Already 14-0 Lancers after one. Adam Stanky rolling out and lofting a pass to Braxton Sauer. Pretty play. Smooth. Makes it 21-zip LaVille. The ensuing kickoff, check this out, it's a short one and takes a funky bounce right back to the oh Lancers. <laughs> that would lead to another touchdown. So they are cruising. Later in the second, how about one more? Rylan Martin just right up the gut, all part of a 48-0 win over Fremont. The Lancers get North Miami in the next round. The team that beat Culver tonight, 35-17. Southwood beats up on Triton, 53-20. And Northfield blanks Caston, 48-0. And we have time for one more break. We'll be back in a moment with our play of the night on Friday Night Fever.